Today we talk about intuition. Uh, you know, that gut feeling, listening to your, to your body, kind of being aware of your surroundings, being aware of what's going on in the world around you, being aware of what's going on inside of you. <coughs> Excuse me. How you feel when you're in particular situations and acknowledging those feelings, not just pushing them aside and going, oh, everything's fine and, you know, I'm, I'm good. It's all, it's all good. Everything's, you know, I'm safe when in all actuality you may not be. Or, you know, you're in a safe space and your brain and your ego is going, oh my God, shit's scary. It's gonna, I'm gonna get hurt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. You know, that tiger, the proverbial tiger is after me. When in all actuality, you're perfectly fine. Your brain, that lizard mind is just kind of taking over and you're allowing it or not listening to your true intuition, your gut, it's telling you that you're where you need to be. Practicing listening, practicing paying attention. It takes work and it takes trust. It takes faith to actually know that the voice that you're hearing that you know that everybody says it this small still voice that is actually there to help you and not there to create things that are more detrimental to you I know it's kind of confusing sometimes especially when you're first kind of getting back to listening to your intuition because when we were kids we did it all the time you know you 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 know have your parents take you someplace and you go into a restaurant or you go into a, a family outing and you're like I don't like that person I I do not like them I don't want to go anywhere near them and sometimes it's because there's actually a really a, a definitive bad vibe about that person or you're just not comfortable around them. Your, your energies don't mesh and they make you feel, yeah, you know, listen to that. Don't let your kids think that that is not an important signaling system that they need to improve. We all need to improve it. We all need to be aware of what's going on in our bodies and when our bodies are telling us that something is the right path. You know, your, your mind says, oh, that can't be, you know, this is more logical. This is a better way to go. You know, driving around, you're driving down the road and something tells you that you need to take the next left. And your logical mind goes, no, this is, that doesn't make sense at all. This is a quicker way. Why would I turn? And then three minutes later, you realize that you're sitting in traffic behind a huge accident that happened. Yeah, you could call it coincidence. Personally, I don't believe there's anything. There's no such thing as coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. And whether you pay, choose to pay attention to that reason or not, well, that's entirely up to you. Do you want to listen to your gut or your instinct that says this person that I'm getting into a relationship with, whether it's romantic or business or anything else, is someone that I shouldn't be around. And then you go ahead, you're like, oh yeah, but oh, he's really cute or she's really pretty. She's got a great personality. Or, you know, our, our business ideals kind of match. Whatever it may be. If you're not listening to that gut and you're not listening to that intuition and you know, two months, three months, six months, six years down the road, shit falls apart. And you look back and you're like, well, damn. I wouldn't have had to do all this mess if I had actually paid attention. True. Look at this guy. Life is so rough. <laughs> GC is over here in the chair beside me, just chilling. Just, just GC. GC, what are you doing? Just hanging out? Yeah. Squirrel, actually, kitten. Um, but do listen, start paying attention. So do this. If you're not familiar with your intuition, even if you are. So here's the thing. I listen to my intuition a lot. Like Roy will ask me, we'll go meet a new client and he'll ask me because he'll get a kind of a vibe and he's like, okay, so 
something's off. And I'm the kind who, I'm the person who's like, yep, we are not doing business with this person for whatever reason. And there are times when, you know, sometimes you don't realize what it is. You're like, I don't know what it is. I have no idea why, because everything on paper looks good, but I'm going to listen to it. And then just let it go. Don't stress about it. Don't rehash it and go, well, maybe I should have, or, you know, maybe I jumped the gun and, and I should have, I should have just gone ahead and started doing that. No, trust that the intuition that the intuitive hit that you got is accurate, is correct for you. Because maybe at that moment, that person was going through something, you're not picking, you're picking up on it subconsciously, and later on down the road, it's a better time for you to be doing business with that person. Maybe they're going through something personally that is affecting the way that they do with business, but you don't know about it. So that effect of, the, of business impacts you in a negative way, where if you had waited and said, okay, you know what? Uh, this is not the right time. No, we're not gonna do business right now, or we're not gonna do business at all. You know, we were talking about this the other day. No is a complete sentence. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. If you have an intuish, intuitive hit, something that just is kind of like, Something, something's off. Or something's like, yeah, wow, this, this feels really good. Do it. Even if it seems like out of the box for you, something that's pushing your comfort zone a little bit, you know, a little bit beyond what you would normally do, go ahead and do it. Listen to what your body and your gut are telling you. Listen to, don't listen to what this hunk of gray matter up here is, is telling you all the time. Yes, Roy's going to argue with me. You know, sometimes we need logic and we need to, you know, think things through. And I agree with that to a point. Because there are a lot of times when Roy's, Roy complains and he's like, I don't get it. How illogical is it the way people are acting? the way they're driving, the way they're treating each other, the way they're doing, whatever it is. It's not logical. Why, are, why don't they understand that there's a better way to do this? Because people are not logical. Regardless of how much they think they are, they're not. Deep down, we're heart-centered. We need to be more heart-centered. Or we're in our gut and we're, you know, letting shit rule us that we shouldn't be let rule us. You know, the voices that you hear outside of you that are telling you you need to do this, you need to do that, or you need to treat people this way, or you need to, you know, think this way, or do that, or do this. What feels right to you? What feels good? What makes you happy? What wakes you up and lights you up? Start doing more of that. Start listening to that little voice that says, I really need to go outside today. Regardless if it's overcast and drizzly and, you know, the wind is so loud you probably can't hear me. I should have gotten my little speaker, but I totally forgot about it. Or my little microphone. Completely forgot about it. So if you can hear me, great. If not, oh well. This is just the way this, this one's going to go. But start listening. Start sitting still, even if you just do it for a few seconds at a time throughout your day and checking in. Okay, how do I feel right now? Where I'm, where I'm at in this moment, how do I feel? What's going on? Do I feel good? Do I feel meh? Do I feel like shit? And then why, what's going on around me that's, that's, helping me to decipher these different things. So a better way to say that you get the feeling in your gut when you take a few seconds to sit and still, you don't have to be still, but you know, take a few seconds to go within. 
All right, I feel good. I feel relaxed. I feel chill. Why is that? Because I'm outside. Because the wind's blowing through the trees and I love the sound of the wind in the trees. And there's a nice breeze. It's fall, one of my favorite times of year. Okay. I need more of this in my world. I need more of this in my life. So that's what? Five seconds, 10 seconds, maybe a minute. I don't even know how long my time, my time apparently is different from everybody else's, so whatever. But it doesn't take that long. So start doing that. Start checking in with yourself. How do you feel at this moment? And then process the world around you and what's going on out there that's making you feel the way that you feel. And if it's not positive, what do you need to do differently? What do you need to change? If it is positive, what do you need to do to get more of that in your life? What do you need to do to be able to change things up just a little bit? Because I am lucky in that we own our business and I can go outside and put my toes in the grass, sit outside in the backyard whenever I want. So not everybody has that. But there is something that you can do. You can always go, if you work in an, uh, an office, you can always take a minute and go outside and get a breath of fresh air. You know, people take smoke breaks all the time. Tell somebody you're going for a smoke break and they're like, I didn't know you smoked. Eh, I just started. But you're not smoking. You're going outside to get some fresh air. So then do that. Whatever it is, start doing more of the things that make you feel good and when you're feeling good, your intuition gets louder because it's like, yes, these are the things that I like. These are the things that I want to do more of. I'm going to start getting louder. And you need to start listening. Okay? So I'm watching GC over here. So talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Don't forget, live life adventurously. Do not get caught up in all the outside stuff that's possible to bring you down, all right? Bye.